Have you ever wondered how we detect diseases like HIV or track hormone levels like HCG in pregnancy tests? It's all thanks to a fascinating technique called ELISA. Stay tuned because in this video, I'm breaking down ELISA in the simplest way possible. And by the end, you'll feel like a pro. Introduction to ELISA ELISA or enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay is a lab technique that helps us detect and measure substances like proteins, hormones and antibodies. It's like a detective in the world of medical testing, finding the tiniest clues in a sample like blood or urine. How ELISA works, simplified. Here's how ELISA works in just three simple steps. One, first, it uses a lock and key mechanism, antibodies and antigens bind to each other. Two, next, an enzyme is attached to this key, which can trigger a color change or light signal. 3. Finally, the stronger the signal, the more of the target substance is present. It's like turning invisible ink visible. It reveals what's hidden in your sample. Different types of ELISA. There are four main types of ELISA, each with its own superpower. 1. Direct ELISA. Simple, but not as specific. 2. Indirect ELISA. Great for detecting antibodies, like in HIV tests. 3. Sandwich ELISA The most accurate, it traps the target molecule like a sandwich. 4. Competitive ELISA Perfect for measuring tiny molecules like hormones. Indirect ELISA, commonly used for HIV testing. It's a common question usually asked in exam. Step-by-step -step ELISA procedure Every ELISA method have unique procedure. We will discuss one by one in some another videos. Here we just go through important step. Let's break it down step by step. 1. Coating. The plate is coated with antigens or antibodies. 2. Blocking. A special solution is added to prevent errors. 3. Add sample. The test sample, like blood or serum, is added. 4. Washing. This clears out anything unbound. 5. Enzyme addition. An enzyme-linked antibody is added to bind to the target. 6. Substrate addition. A substrate reacts with the enzyme to produce a signal. 7. Result reading. The signal, like color or light, is measured using an ELISA reader. Each step builds on the last, creating a highly sensitive test that gives us clear, accurate results. Real-life example, HIV testing. The plate is coated with HIV antigens. A patient's blood is added. If it contains HIV antibodies, they bind to the antigens. A secondary antibody with an enzyme binds to these HIV antibodies. A substrate is added, causing a color change if the patient is positive. It's like a quick detective story, except it's happening at a microscopic level. Why ELISA is important ELISA isn't just for disease diagnosis, it's also used to Measure hormones like insulin or HCG in pregnancy Detect allergens in food like peanuts or gluten Study immune responses in research labs It's one of the most versatile tools in a lab technician's arsenal Fun facts and tips Here are some cool facts about ELISA did you know it can detect substances in picograms? That's one trillionth of a gram. Always wash the plate properly. Skipping this step is like leaving fingerprints at a crime scene. And remember, the enzyme substrate reaction is the star of the show. It's what makes the invisible visible. Challenges of ELISA Of course ELISA isn't perfect. It can be time consuming. Cross reactions might lead to false positives and it needs precise handling to avoid errors. But with practice and attention to detail, you'll master it in no time. And that's ELISA, one of the most powerful tools for medical lab technicians. If you found this explanation helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow students or colleagues. 